The 1999 through 2000 season will mark the start of the Lakers' rise to dominance. The Lakers will clinch the number one spot in the West for the first time in nine years, thanks to an MVP season from the big man, Shaquille O'Neal. This player will average a team high of 29 points, 13 rebounds, and three blocks per game. He'll also lead the Lakers in field goal percentage, averaging 57% from the field. The Lakers will beat the Sacramento Kings, the Phoenix Suns, and the Portland Trail Blazers on their way to the final matchup against the Indiana Pacers. Number one, 2000, Shaquille O'Neal with the Los Angeles Lakers. I knew it. I ain't doing it. With 38% free throw shooting. How many? 30, 35 plus points? Oh my God. Nah, this is by far the most dominant finals performance. Shaq Diesel is one of the better finals performers in NBA history. I mean, they was hacking this man at the free throw line. He's missing free throws, but he still was able to make 35 plus points per game. In the finals, Shaquille O'Neal will lead all players averaging 45 minutes, 38 points, and 16 rebounds and two blocks per game. The Lakers will go on to beat the Pacers 4-2 with Shaq earning his first MVP trophy. After dealing with all of those years of putting up with the magic, him coming out after winning his first, him coming for number two, destruction and dominance, 38 points, could not be guarded. This is what created the entire Shaq brand. This is what solidified Shaq as the most dominant center in the game. And I mean, once we seen this performance, I mean, it was nobody you can say who was as dominant as him. This was when Shaq was at the height of who he was personally. Yeah. He's movies, television commercials, even more than he is now, because he was doing more of the mainstream commercials. People were buying Reebok at this time because of the dominance of Shaquille O'Neal. People still buy Reebok to this day because of the legacy of the dominance of Shaquille O'Neal. So we have to remember that and Allen Iverson. So think about it. The finals with Shaquille O'Neal and Allen Iverson literally has been holding up the Reebok brand for 30 years. Over all of them, 30, 30, almost 37 points per game, almost 17 rebounds. I mean, unstoppable. unstoppable. They, it was no, he had no matchup. The difficulty wasn't, wasn't, wasn't hard, of course, but the numbers, the stat line, it's most impressive stat line I've seen in NBA Finals. The 1999 through 2000 Finals will introduce both Shaq and the Lakers as the NBA powerhouse and be the start of the Lakers dynasty in the early 2000s. Shaquille O'Neal's performance in the 2000s may be the oldest on the list, but the breakout season for the big man would draw attention for years to come. The most hilarious thing I've ever thought about in the world. Without Allen Iverson and without Shaquille O'Neal, there would be no Reebok. Without Shaquille O'Neal, there would be no Young God, the Holy One. This is my favorite basketball player ever. This is my favorite finals ever. This is the first one I ever got to watch in person on television. So I will always have this at number one. Shaq will always be my favorite basketball player ever. The GOATs cannot ever be stopped and let him learn a free throw. Shaquille O'Neal tops our list at number one on the Spinal Sports Top 10 Finals Performances of the last two decades. Now, that was a wild list. So, what would you like to see next for the SOS Top 10 Series? Comment below and don't forget to subscribe to more Spot on Sports.